Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and I had a few requests um, asking for a tutorial on how I made the wee dragonflies and butterflies. So I thought I would show you a quick one today uh, making the dragonflies and you just use the same process for your butterfly stamps, whichever stamps you have um, will work. So I'm going with Dragonfly Garden and Dragonfly Match and Punch. And what you need is choose your colour. Um, whatever ink you prefer. I'm going to go with old olive because I think I'll be using these coming into the autumn as well. So I want to go with that nice colour. Um, I'm using the clear embossing powder. Um, you'll need a couple of uh, embellishments for where is he? For here, you know, just to decorate them up and add a wee bit more pizzazz. You need your heat too and of course you need your punch. And the card that I'm going with where did you go? It's a card I have had for a good few years and it's like a silk uh, feel to it. It's pretty heavy. It's not stamping up. I have had it for a long, long time. I probably have had this about eight years, maybe. Maybe less. I'm not sure. But that's what I says. I'm not using it for anything. I thought this would be great to make my 3D embellishments. So that's what I'm using it for. So get your chosen uh, dragonfly. I'm going with this one this time. That was the other uh, one out of the packet. So I'm going with him to see how he looks. Keep yourself a nice scrap of paper for your um, embossing powder. And just, just an old print off or whatever. There's no big deal. A bit of copy paper just that you're not using. Put a crease down the middle and that makes it easier to pour your stuff back into the bowl. So we'll start off with... The main one just stamp them up in the just make sure it gets lots of ink so that the embossing powder will stick to them and stamp them and just go along this way and don't don't hang about too long before you do your embossing you know do each stage and then move on rather than taking the chance of your Ink drain up before you get the chance to emboss it. So once he's covered, you're okay. You have no sweat. You can take as long as you want. So tidy up your desk so you don't melt nothing on top of it. I'll just pop that over out of the way and we're just going to heat this up. I recommend you warming. This is not stamping up one of them. This is waiting to. I won in a competition about 30 years ago. That's how long I've been crafting. And um, it's still going. Such a great wee too. It's not as efficient as the newer ones because they've got a longer nozzle on them and they heat up quicker and there's none of this hanging about. But make sure that your your heating tool is well heated. Uh, and then start from the tail. Don't shake it about. Just start from the tail and work your way up. And just watch the magic happen and enjoy it. Doesn't take that long to you can see that it's all nicely done and because this is silk paper it takes it a wee bit of time to cool again to dry it kind of absorbs the heat but what you want to do is ink that up again the same stamp maybe not as much ink this time park it over here beside where you're going to punch your other one out and you're going to use this as a marker for your underneath wings in this particular set you get one a piece of shadow so when you turn it around this way use the guy just to place it as close you're not going to get it perfect it's just the way it works out it's not an opposite and i don't want to take out my rubber uh, mat and start trying to transfer it it's just not worth it if you get it to do what you want it to do this way then it's perfectly fine so i'm going i'll actually start at this side and I'm using this to line me up as best I can. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I'm absolutely not worried about it. I want to add just a kind of a shadow to the rest of the stumps or the stumped area. And just go in immediately, <coughs> excuse me, with your um, embossing powder again. Don't worry about any wee edge bits like I've over stamped here. It doesn't matter. You're going to be punching it out anyway, so uh, don't panic. You're probably not going to be as sloppy as me. So take your heat tool again and just melt the powder. Mm. 
You can see it better than the cream really checking. And it gives it more of a shadowy effect for the underneath of your dragonfly. So I think that is more or less done. So we'll let that cool. I'm going to close up my ink. At this stage, you could take your blends if you want to add a bit of colour. I'm just going to go in with the old olive, the dark old olive. I'm just colouring this in. So it's all turning together. Just the body. I'm leaving the wings the way they are because the dragonflies are kind of see-through wings anyway. You know? So you don't really need to do that one, but if you want, if you feel the need, if it's going to show accidentally or whatever, at least you have it covered. So get your punch. And because this has a bottom and a top to it, I'm going to cut this down so that I'm not wasting my card and I'll actually get another two out of the other side of this card. Wasting it, wanting it. Just make sure it's all dry and then pop it in there. Line it up. And do the same with this one. Just line it up where it looks best. Forget about any overspill or anything. Just don't worry about it. It all works as this is the underneath shadow piece. And there we have the top, the bottom and the top. We just want to curl our wings up. If you use your scissors, curl them under. I don't like curling this side because you might scrape off some of your embossing and you don't want to be doing that. Just use your nail and crease that very gently. You don't want to have too many creases in your, your card either. Same on this one. Crease it up. And then you're going to put a wee bit of a dimensional. Save your wee end pieces. You don't need a whole lot for this. So I'm just using this wee slither here. He has a very narrow part to his body, so you haven't much room for dimensionals. So just use those wee tiny pieces. Set them like so, take off the tops. It's very therapeutic sitting making these and you can choose all different colours. You don't even need to plan projects, just make them up and you have them then. And that's them stuck together and they're flying away there. And then you can finish it if you want with a few um, wee gems up to yourself. I'm going to put them on his body this time around his head. So these come in gold and silver, so they're quite useful for all the colours then. So there he is, all set and ready to go onto your card. And if you're putting them on the card, you can either just put a wee bit of glue down there or you can embellish or put your dimensionals on again to raise it up even further. It depends on the look you're going for. But that is it. So simple. And you can make them in any colour. And two different um, types in that one set. And they're lovely just along with wee flowers. So I hope that helps you. I hope you enjoyed it. And go ahead and get your butterflies. I know the butterfly one I used is in Butterfly Gala. It is no longer available. But I'm sure loads of you still have them. And sure if you're making them, you could be selling them to your friends who don't have that stamp set. And there's a wee sideline for you. So, hope that helps you. And I'll catch us all again later. Bye.